A very warm welcome to you to Borussia Park, the venue for our game today. And Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, will be doing our best to describe the action for you. It's Borussia Mönchengladbach in action today against Roma. This is the Mönchengladbach lineup, 4-3-3, and they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job actually because they've got to come inside, support the centre forward and they've also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball, so an onus on them. Torgan has that. Throw in coming up. Kolorov. Diego Perotti. Lang. Rafael. Kramer. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. Chris Dante. Kolorov. And here's De Rossi. Edin Dzeko. Alessandro Florenzi. The target, Edin Dzeko. It's Jan Sommer who makes the save look easy. It was pretty easy, in truth. And here's De Rossi. Now Manolas. Diego Perotti. Not a very active way of playing this for the defending team because they're not going out and closing the opposition. They're just saying, well, you can have the ball, we'll cope with it. But it does invite the sort of pressure you can crack under. And here is Dzeko. He's got his shot off now. It was a real opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed it. Kramer, Lang. Raphael. Well, on the subject of Roma, Alan, of course, all great things come to an end. Francesco Totti, certainly a great thing, a great player for Roma. The longevity of the man, he was astounding, wasn't it? He was completely committed to his hometown club, and I doubt they'll ever have somebody to match. He could cross it from here. Well, then it goes. Well, that's good defending. Throw in for Roma. Florenzi. Opportunity in a wider area. Good defensive clearance there. Roma's corner. And in it goes. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Strange, really, from such a good position and such a good player because he's hit it so hard. Yeah, that's not like him at all. Don't know why he tried to finish like that. Lang. Out into the wide areas now. That's a combination of skill and will to hold off the opposition. Well, no danger from that cross because the defender can cope with it easily. Raphael makes the challenge here. Edin Dzeko. Diego Perotti. Now Manolas. Chris Dante. Federico Fazio. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Lang. Hazard. Kramer. Torgan Hazard. Ginter. Two minutes of added time. That's what it says on the board.
Diego Perotti. And there is the half-time whistle, nil-nil at the break. I have to say, Alan, you were... And this is the start of the second half. Edin Dzeko. Cristante. Diego Perotti. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. In with the chance! Was a chance maybe to hit the target. He certainly went for strength. Nothing wrong with the connection either. Lang. They might have played him in here. Costas Manolas. Diego Perotti. On to Cholera. Gets his cross in. Compliment the defender, but not the player trying to cross it. Kramer. Oscar Vent. Zakari. Read the play well. Borussia Mönchengladbach are ready to make this change. Diego Perotti. Kolorov. Roma couldn't keep it. Kramer. It's a really big clearance by the goalkeeper, just whacking it away. Cristante. De Rossi. Couple of options for him from the free kick, whether to go for goal or put it to where his teammates are lining up. And we're going to get substitutions from both managers. Tried his luck. Corner for Roma. Corner played into the middle. And they get it away. In goes the corner. The Rossi. On to Cholera. And shoots! The referee went straight away, pointing to the spot. Penalty kick. Oh, was the contact? Did he dive? Love to see the replay. Brilliant save from the goalkeeper. That will be a corner. We are going to see a substitution now. Corner swung in. He's kept it out. A fine header. Better save. Yeah, he couldn't have connected any better with the header. But uh, really good agility from that keeper. Florenzi. Still 20 minutes to go. Daniele De Rossi. Kolorov. It's become a rather defensive policy here. With a team that's camped really in its own half at the moment. And that does let the opposition have free possession. They can really come at you, it's risky. Raphael. Oscar Vent. Hoffman. Azar. Raphael! team that's conceded here because they have been the dominant force but now they trail it was a good attack a side that's defended well didn't look as though they got this in them but they've paved the way to goal and they've taken their chance in good style so the first goal it's 1-0 Daniele De Rossi Steven Unzonzi. Now Clivert. And here's Clivert. Substitution time. And it's Borussia Mönchengladbach who are going to make the alteration. Well, that's good defending. Hoffman. Torgan Hazard. We're down now to the last six minutes. Cut out the pass. 
It's going to go right in behind the defenders. Attacking team not happy about that offside call, but we can see it again here. Well, he is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. I think he's got the beating of these defenders in a race. He's cut that out well, well read. Big moment, actually, because there was a chance there if he hadn't been able to intervene. Three minutes from the referee via the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Could whip it in from here. And Tomsi! There is the final whistle. Well, they wanted this friendly game to get themselves going again. They've lost the game, but in the end, maybe there'll be more advantages than perhaps the result would suggest. I think they were trying out one or two things out there that uh, didn't quite come off, but um, the manager might have finding it quite useful to see 